Hey everyone, this is my first attempt at a uh, YouTube video. Uh, I'm gonna start documenting my current car build. And uh, this is what I have going on so far. It's a 2001 uh, E46 325i. Um, I just put some rims on it. There's 17s, they're staggered setup, 10 in the rear, eight in the front. Um, and why there's no headlights you may ask and now you see that little tube right there there's one over here as well so what does that mean this has been going on for many months i'd say about six i had just gotten her off jack stands the other day um and she now starts i haven't driven it yet um, I got to do an oil change. This is the first time running oil through this turbo. Um, other than that, this is this is my BMW, and uh, this is what I'm doing to her. I don't know exactly what I plan to do besides have fun with this car. Um, but welcome to the the channel. I mean, this I don't know exactly what to name it yet or how to edit but this is my first video and first attempt so here we go uh what i'm gonna try and do today is is kind of see what i can do with my headlights um i have been running into an issue of this headlight going back too far and touching this pipe so eventually i'm gonna have to i don't know what i'm gonna have to do yet if i have to get a new pipe and push the pipe back this way i gotta cut some out of here to clear it and then uh, I gotta do some changing arounds up here but I'm starting to go to school to become a welder um, so I can create my own uh, air intake and weld fuel cells roll cages bash bars um, even exhaust if I need to do it down or well I need to do it obviously but later down the line you know a full exhaust coming into the the end here and the muffler and stuff but now i'm gonna try and go out the fender over here i'm gonna try and uh just take it and well i'm gonna try and move this stuff first i'm gonna try and build an exhaust to come around here and out the fender which is going to be a challenge in itself um but yeah so I know if I can mainly mess with the left headlight because the right headlight I cannot run at all right now because of the intercooler issue. So here we go. I don't know exactly where to set my phone up uh, for you guys to see, but it's. Ugh. Oh, that looks pretty. Man, stupid phone. <laughs> uh, I am filming this on my phone. I do have a camera, I just don't know how to use it yet. So, uh, yeah, that looks good. And I did just uh, put, so let me, let me uh, tell you about this. God dang it. So the end of the snail on the turbo is a three inch. This is a two and a half. And um, so I had to get a T3 to a T4 flange so I can mount this twin scroll board warner. Uh, this is a 55-55 on both sides. Um, she should do exactly what I need her to do. I'm aiming for maybe 500, eh, yeah, I'd say about five to the wheels. That's what I'm just shooting for. Um, eventually we will get to what we, the numbers that we want. Um, this is my uh, third time doing turbos, and uh, uh, the other two times didn't go so well. 
Um, this is the one that actually is making progress. And I mean, I still have the car. <laughs> uh, last few times I had this uh, E36. I was gonna throw a 2JZ GTE in. And um, the shop that I put it in uh, ended up just ripping my motor out. And then after they ripped the motor out, they didn't really do anything else. They kind of just put it on the back burner and just left it, um, which sucks because it was a really clean E36. I had bought it for like, uh, I bought it for 600 bucks. And man, that thing, all I did was replace a coil pack and a, um, I think it was, I did all the spark plugs in the coil pack, yeah. And then it just ran like a dream. Um, I was only 15 at the time, uh, which, I mean, you can't really drive cars at that age. You can, but not legally. So she kind of sat in the driveway, and that's why I decided to try and do a, um, a 2J swap. Because we had this 2J, because we had another build that we were going to do, um, which never even got started because we started the uh, E36 build. But that went south after a year i'd say we we got a bunch of parts we had gotten a new oil pan for it and everything so that he could put the oil pan on the j on the jay-z and you know get things actually going right and oh dude ended up just bsing and never never even got around to it um which was kind of crappy because Eventually, he got so caught up in his things that he was doing that he ended up going to jail or someone took him out. I don't know. Dude just flat disappeared off the face of the earth. And it didn't make any sense to any of us. Um, and at the time, we didn't have any vehicles to go pick anything up. And we lost the, the, the car. And by the time we were able to get the motor, uh, we didn't have anything to tow the... Uh, BMW. Oops, my bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, sad story. Um, next thing I got was another E36 after a few other cars, but you know, favorite cars. There's one favorite cars right here. My next one was a uh, 90. I think it was a 98. 328i it was a four door beautiful red and this thing was i mean only had i think like 160,000 miles um but okay yeah now I, i'm not set up in my i don't we don't have a garage or a shop yet so i've just been having all my tools in my car and the other day my toolbox kind of fell and now there's just sockets everywhere so uh yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, it's been like this for a while. That's why this project has taken so long. Um, but back to my story, I had this nice uh, E36 328i, and it was an automatic transmission, it was red, and it was just a beautiful car. And I, I regret everything that happened. Um, I ended up wrecking the car, and I just bought rims for it that day sad story but uh you know you live and you learn and you, you don't hang out with the wrong people that are uh, bad influences and you really just that's what i worry about nowadays is keeping the right people around and i mean it's hard to find the right people and i mean look at me i'm chilling here by myself talking to a camera working on my car not that anyone really cares. Um, that's just how the world is. I mean, nobody cares. Um, but, as you can see, I do have a good amount of room of clearance in here. And I was able just to put it right in and, you know, hook it up. That goes to the headlights. I got to put that in. So, um... Yeah, I'll show y'all exactly what's going on with the uh, the driver's side. Um, get that. Uh, 
I know this is probably the, the most terrible angle ever. I don't have a stand yet. Um, I'm starting this out because one of my friends told me, you know what, you should just go for it. And I just pondered my mind many times to start a YouTube channel of the things that I do. Um, because I, I truly enjoy working on cars, as you can see. I mean, it takes me a while sometimes. Um, but I'm taking my time with this one and I'm making sure it gets done right. Because eventually, I plan to try and sponsor this. Not exactly sponsor the call. Well, yeah, sponsor the call. And um, just not exactly, I'm not shooting for money or anything. I'm just shooting for a dream. That's, that's the goal in this is I, I want to, I don't know, show people what I do, what I can do. Um, and you know, just live my life and have fun. But here we are. This is the issue I'm running into. See, I gotta come back right here about, well, if I put it, line it up, you can see that that's how far I gotta go on that side, but I can't really because of that. Uh, so that does leave me with the issue here, etc. cetera. Um, but, When she's got headlights in her and a turbo sticking right out the hood, it's pretty badass. Looks like car's smiling. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, and this is uh, my build. Got a lot to go, and you know, I can. I got some custom work coming eventually um, after I get out of school and I get materials, or I mean, once I start learning how to weld some of the materials that i need like aluminum and uh stainless steel like i know how to weld stainless steel and flux and stick but i mean i just need to get better at it and get better rods you know learn how to work welders and stuff uh to their best ability um uh, but this is what i got going on um like subscribe comment uh this is this is me. All right, little bonus clip to the first video. I just got the blinker in and this piece, I'm not pushing it in all the way yet because I'm just test fitting for the video. And then after this, I'm gonna get everything all tightened up and good to go. Cause I still have to put on these bumper mounts right here, but Dope.